Hey everyone, this is Maxim Burgraad from 100 Things to Do with Red Hat Management Products. Um, apologies for the long intermezzo between the last video and this one. I think it's, it's almost half a year. Um, and I will try to not let that happen again. Um, today I want to talk to you about a way to move an existing system from one capsule server in a satellite infrastructure to another. Um, and I'm talking about that because um, last week I got a patch merged into bootstrap.py or more officially Catello client bootstrap, uh, which is a tool to uh, connect existing systems to a satellite infrastructure with. And that patch basically makes it possible to use that same bootstrap.py script to move a system from an existing capsule to another existing capsule. Now, first, we need to look at what a capsule is, I think. Um, satellite has many, potentially, um, and they're used to offload work off the satellite server to um, systems in satellite's perimeter. Um, basically, you can deploy many capsules. You always have one that is embedded on the satellite server itself, and then you can have potentially many others in a star topology to uh, offload work from um, the satellite onto those capsules. Now, what happens is that, um, for example, you can have a thousand systems that need to talk to the satellite server to get their puppet content, for example. Um, that is fairly compute intensive work. So what you might want to do is let those systems talk to capsule servers instead. So you take away that computational work from the satellite and move it onto capsule servers. Now, as your infrastructure grows, you might want to move some systems over from talking directly to the satellite. Uh, to talk to capsule servers instead. And this video is going to be about how do I do that? Now, the version of bootstrap.py that we need to move a system over to another capsule, we don't actually ship that with Satellite 6 yet. Um, it will be delivered in an upcoming version, but as of um, this moment, and this is January 27th, 2018, it is not shipped with the official product yet. So the first thing we need to do is move the old bootstrap.py out of the way and download um, the version that we need from GitHub. So basically we just wget it from GitHub. And there it is, Jonah to Apache, because that is what it's supposed to be. We restore con because we obviously have SE Linux enabled. And now all of our client systems can just get this system, uh, this, this script from the main satellite server and use it to move itself to another capsule. More on that in the next section. So for the demo, I'm going to show you um, a system that is connected to my um, satellite server. The system is called movenode.deployment6.lan, and as you can see, it is right now in the location local and a member of the host group RHEL7 generic development. Now, in my infrastructure, I also have a RHEL7 generic development caps, which is a host group that is dedicated for a uh, connection to my uh, capsule that I'm going to move this system to. I have different locations that my capsule is a member of and not my satellite server. And obviously, I have a capsule called CAPS03 that is in local sublocation, not in local itself. And we're going to move the node that I just showed you, um, move node. We're going to move that from being connected to the satellite server itself to CAPS03. Along the way, we're going to move it to RHEL 7 generic development caps, and we're going to move it to local sublocation. So the first thing I, I want to do is just show the fact that right now my um, move node is connected to the satellite server itself for um, Puppet and, con and, and RPM content. So we log on. Um, I'm going to just show you the specific part of the Puppet configuration file, which is now pointing to my main satellite server. And the same goes to uh, game, same goes for the RPM content that also comes from my main satellite server. So to actually start um, going with the migration from one capsule to the other, I'm going to download the bootstrap script from my main satellite server onto my move node, like that. I'm going to make it executable. And then I'm going to execute it like this. And this means I'm going to execute it with the dash dash new capsule option. Um, 
I'm going to move this system to a new capsule, um, more specifically this one called caps03.deploymentstick.lan. I'm going to use the admin account for this. Uh, you need to do a couple of API calls along the way, so we need an account that is allowed to do those API calls, and I'm using admin for that right now. Um, I'm going to move the system into another host group. Um, it, it is right now in RHEL 7 generic development. I'm going to move it into RHEL 7 generic development caps, um, the specific host group for this capsule. And I'm, I'm, and I'm going to move it into a different location as well. It is now, into, uh, it is now in local. I'm going to move it into local slash sublocation. Now, moving it to a different group into a different location is optional but I'm going to show the full functionality of this script and that includes moving it to a different location and different host group. So there we go. So what is going to happen is that this script is going to remove all of the certificates for both uh, yum and puppet from this system, install a new set of certificates that allow access to um, caps three instead of set six cast and then uh, change all the necessary configuration files to um, connect to the right or the new capsule at this point and call the satellite API to um, reflect those changes in um, the satellite 6 UI as well. Now it is important to stress once again that all of the information the satellite si uh, server holds about this system, um, move node, is kept. Nothing is removed, so all of the puppet variables will still be there, all of the subscriptions will still be there. The only thing that changes is that this system will talk to CAPS03 after the migration and be a member of a different host group and a location and no longer talk to SET6CAST. So here we go, we hit enter, we enter the admin password and everything up from this point should be fairly quick. So we just give it a couple of seconds. Old certificates are removed, new certificates are installed. Um, as part of that, we have to remove and reinstall Gopher and Catello Agent as well, but that does not take a lot of time. So now the Foreman API is called a couple of times to move the system to different parts of the satellite infrastructure, different location, different uh, host group. We update the Puppet Master, the OpenSCAP proxy, and the content source. And we call Puppet. Um, I have an auto-sign rule installed for Puppet, so I don't have to manually sign it. If you do not have an auto-sign rule in place, you have to now go into the satellite UI and sign the certificate request. But that is it, and at this point, um, I can show you the uh, contents of my um, puppet configuration again, for example. And it says CAPS03 now, and the reference to my main satellite server is gone. And the same goes for the YUM configuration. No longer points to set 6 cast, points to CAPS03 now. We already saw that puppet works, but we'll run puppet again just to make sure. So everything is fine. Churn, churn, churn. There we go. Puppet runs, and I can install install a new program. Let's install something I don't usually install. Let's install Emacs. And there we go. Emacs installs just fine. And everything is being pulled from the capsule now. So there you have it. Moving a system from a capsule can be the embedded capsule in the satellite, can be uh, uh, already an external capsule to another external capsule or back to the embedded capsule in the satellite. It's just one command away. Um, I hope this was useful and um, I'll talk to you guys in a future episode. So that was it for today. I hope that was useful. Um, please click the screen to subscribe to the channel. Always forget which part of the screen you should click, but it should be fairly obvious at this point. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this, and um, I will try to not leave such a large gap between this video and the next one, and I'll talk to you guys during my next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you around.